This tutorial is to explain about Tikinder entry widget with an appropriate example. The entry widget is used as a single line text field for accepting the values from the user. It is limited to single font for complete input. So it is used to accept a single line text field value from the user. The number of important options of entry widget. The first one is text variable. It is used to associate an instance of string var to retrieve the current text from entry widget. So we can associate an instance of string var object into entry widget by using text variable. The next one x scroll command which is used to link an entry widget to a scroll bar. The third one show it is used to specify the character to echo when the user types the input. It can be used to create password entry that echoes each character as an asterisk star. Export selection. By default, user selected text within an entry widget will get exported to the clipboard. To remove the default exportation, use export selection equals zero. So if you make export selection equal to zero, the selected content from the entry widget will not get copied into the clipboard by default. Different methods of the entry widget. The two important methods, the first one delete. It takes two parameters, the first and last. It is used to delete a character from the widget starting from the index first up to but not including the position last. Suppose we don't mention the second parameter the last. So single character at position first will be deleted if the second argument is omitted. The second method is get which is used to return the current text of entry as a string. Let's see a Tikinder GUI application. To check a number is even or odd, here we are going to use an entry widget to accept a number from the user. First, we are importing the Tikinder module from Tikinder import star. And we are designing the GUI first by calling TK constructor. We are creating a window and changing the window title by calling the title method. Then we create three different widgets. The first we are creating a label. The label object is named as L1. So for while creating all the widgets, the first parameter should be the window name. So our window name is W1. For the label, we are assigning the text as enter the number. And for the entry widget, the name of the entry widget object is E1. And its width is specified as 12. And the button widget name is B1. In the button caption, we are displaying the text as display. And we associate a function to the button control by using the command option function name we have written as display. So we need to define a method which is named as display that will get called when the button B1 is getting clicked. All the widget which we have created, the three widget, one label, one entry control and one button have to be placed on GUI. We are placing by using the grid method in rows and columns. So the first the label and the entry control we are placing on zeroth row on different columns 0 and 1. The next the button control B1 is placed on the next row and the column number 1. The main loop method has been called for the window object for event handling. Now we need to define the display method. And that will get called when button is clicked. So we are defining the display method. So a method can be defined by using def keyword followed by the method name. 
the method name is display to get content from the entry control we can use the method get so our entry control name is e1 so we call the method e1.get for to get content from the entry control but it need to be converted into an integer so we are using the int method which will convert the content of the entry widget into an integer number and get stored into the variable n after that we are checking whether the number is divisible by 2 if we are divisible by 2 we print the answer as the it is an even number otherwise we print the answer as it's an odd number thank you